culture, our culture. We're plugging a dam here. We're just plugging a dam. There's so much that's gone on, and you said you don't notice it. You don't know what's going on. How do we open up communication channels and education? What is the initiative that's going forward on that? Good question. Uh, I think a number of things have to happen. First of all, we have to admit that we know we have a problem. We have to admit that we know we have a problem. And not everybody, not everybody's a bad person. We know that we have a problem, and we know who those individuals are. And we're beginning to find out who those individuals are as well. That's number one. Number two, in my mind, the fines and the suspensions need to change. Um, for, for, those, for, for the people that do bad things to horses, and, 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 and they go through the hearing process, I think we need to throw the book at them. We need, we, we need, we need to make them hurt. Um, and, and, and unless and until we do that, and I'm probably stepping on Sonia's remarks here, unless and until we do that, do that I don't think we're going we're, we're, we're gonna to get the attention that we're going to need to have. The other thing I hear, number three is, uh, the other thing I hear is, um, I'm giving my horse this. I really don't want to. I'd rather not, but I don't think I'm going to be competitive if I stop, because I know what the guy's doing on the other end of the barn. Help me find a way so that I don't have to continue to do what I'm doing. Um, if that's true, and I believe that there is some truth in that, as we've heard it a number of times, we've got to come to the aid of the people that want to do the right thing. Um, lastly, I think, um, we just don't have enough information, and we need we need, we need more information about what's really going on. And that's going to, I think, is going to come as a result of doing, uh, doing a couple of things. Uh, in, in the next couple of weeks, uh, Sonia and I are going to be meeting with a couple of organizations similar to ours that actually have an investigative view. One of them is with the FBI. Um, and and how, can we, how can we use that model? How can we have individuals that are on the employ of the United States Equestrian Federation that we can send into a competition where something happens and we can get them on the ground quickly to be able to get the information that we need to get. And frequently that's not the case. Um, we, we, need, we need to have a vet onto the horse quickly and when there's a necropsy involved we need to get the results quickly and, and we need to get the horse where it needs to be. And we don't have the ability to do that. We need to tighten up our rules and insist that people cooperate. And that was one of the problems that we had with the, the big noisy incident from last year. Just chose not to cooperate. That's not right. We can't, we can't fix the problem if we don't have the enforcement mechanisms to do that. So uh, I think what you're going to see over the next year or two is the Federation taking on a stronger, uh, more aggressive, um, approach to investigations and finding information that we have not been able to do in the past.